Hello and welcome to the Stoic Tarot. My name is Adi. I do tarot and oracle deck walkthroughs. In this video, we're taking a look at tarot for kids. Hmm, maybe a little, a little bit of a hot topic. Not that I've seen anyone arguing about it, but I can imagine that there's some out there who would question the idea of teaching a child to read tarot cards. And to that, I would answer, you know, a lot of families bring their kids up to be Christian, Catholic, Jewish, you know, very early on. And so it's just another belief system at the end of the day. Mm hmm. Cards are very snugly fit in there. Kind of challenging to get them out, but the inside of the box is pretty straightforward. I'll set that aside. The cards are thick, I presume, so that they can withstand the child's abuse. The book is here. Let's take a look at it. Uh huh. Tarot for kids. Uh, welcome to Tarot for Kids. So glad you found your way to this deck, and I am happy to be your teacher and journey on this journey. Um, before we get started, there are a few things you might want to gather. First, you need a notebook, and you also need a cloth in order to keep your cards in good shape. When you're done working with the cards, be sure to store them securely. Before we begin, you know you need to know what it's all about. Here's the scoop. A hundred years ago, in Italy, tarot was a playing game. Well, that's kind of cool. People kept coming up with new ways to use the cards. There are two parts. There's 56 minors symbolizing daily life. Okay, stuff and stuff and stuff. How to do a reading. Doing a tarot reading is simple. You ask a question, shuffle the cards, and then cut them into three stacks with your left hand, keeping them face down. You might wonder why you use your left hand when cutting the decks. Actually, this is an old superstition. When you first begin reading, you may be worried you'll forget what the cards mean. Uh, take the deck and begin to shuffle the cards. Great questions. How to read for tarot, how to read tarot for family and friends. I don't know if this is, uh, I guess that's assuming that's for the adult maybe. Uh, the best tarot readers are often the simplest. One card spread, the situation, the cards. Okay, so here we go, here's some definitions. It looks like you don't get any illustrations. Uh, but you get, uh, let's see, the fool, you get reverse, <clears throat> you get a question, and you get a little phrase at the top. So I will hold it here. Feel free to pause and read if you want. I'm going to set it aside so we can take a look at the cards themselves. This is a big deck. Mm -hmm. and zoom out a little bit. Okay, here we go. Immediately, I love the art, um, the the colors, and just everything. Patience, the hangman, okay. I am curious to see how the art will address that that makes sense. How the art and the and the book will address um, some of the more difficult cards. Um, not the nightmare sword, the nightmare card, uh, nine of swords, stuff like that.
Put a turtle underneath. That's nice. Okay, here we go. Swords, let's see. I almost want to go back in and read what has been written for this sweet. So they kept it this kind of similar illustration to the cards. Interesting. I had noticed some of the other cards were adjusted slightly to match the theme of a child or someone who might be in school. And I was wondering if they would make further alterations like that throughout the deck. But it really looks like they kept mostly true to the writer deck throughout this. It's a really interesting illustration for this card. I like it a lot, actually. Certain cards in this deck, like uh, like this card, for example, they remind me a little bit of the, um, I, I guess I would say like the inherent uh, privilege that that a, a, a kid would be in in order to even receive this deck like there are a lot of kids out there whose parents can't even afford to like get them regular supplies for school or like you know there's so many financial issues that getting a tarot deck for their kid is like absolutely like a luxury and when I see little photos like this of like a beautiful yard and a dog and like a grandparent maybe and like this this picture of health and well-being of course this is the ten of coins like that's what you're gonna see on this but it reminds me in real life of the kind of privilege a kid would be in in the first place in order to even be presented with a deck like this it's just an interesting thing to think about or at least for me to think about like what kind of kid would receive this deck Anyway, tangent aside, that is the deck. And uh, let's take a look at the back of this. They're a little sticky. They're not the slipperiest cards, but you've got, uh, I believe, a mo two moons or a moon and a sun, however you wish to interpret it. And I am actually gonna go in and read how they've described the swords for child children. King of swords, seven, eight. Eight of swords can mean that you're feeling trapped there may be too many rules or perhaps you've made a decision you don't like and now you have to deal with it it can also indicate that you have no free time in some cases it can mean you feel isolated or left out you don't fit in maybe you are different or there is something about you that other kids don't understand remember it's better to be yourself even if that means not fitting in Nine of Swords shows up. It's a sign that something is bothering you, that you may be worried about a situation or person. Perhaps you are having nightmares or sleepless nights. Maybe you're depressed. If you are imagining the worst, you need to ask for help. Do not suffer in silence. The, this card can also represent betrayal or getting stabbed in the back. That's okay. That's cool. Um, I like that it tells you know the kid to ask for help. That's helpful. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this <laughs> this deck. And it's just some of this content is is very adult in nature. And I was wondering if they would like tone it down a little bit to make it a little more accessible for a younger audience. Uh, but there you have it. Let me know what your thoughts are. I will. Uh, sign off now thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did if you like this video there's over a hundred other videos on my channel you can pop over and take a look don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye